Education of the faith starts at home, and churchmilitant.tv is here to help. Please consider signing up your family for a churchmilitant.tv premium account for just $10 a month. Your family deserves the truth. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. Rebecca is under the weather today. Here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. The Supreme Court in the Philippines have voted 8-7 to seven to suspend the reproductive health law indefinitely. Officials have decided to suspend the law until, quote, further orders from the court are implemented. The RH law would have forced medical professionals and businesses to provide a full range of contraceptives, abortifacients, and sterilization. Catholic blog Rorate Celli is reporting that abortion may, in practice, be legalized in Brazil by August 2nd if the president of the country doesn't veto a bill already approved by the Brazilian Congress. The Brazilian Conference of Bishops has not released a statement on the issue up to this point, and some are suspicious that the bishops may have a close relationship with the ruling party, which may be related to its silence. All of this is occurring with Pope Francis visiting Rio de Janeiro in the coming days for a World Youth Day. An update to a story we reported on a few weeks ago on Ex-Gay Pride Month, a month dedicated to those who used to identify themselves as homosexual but have since become heterosexual. The month has now been delayed due to threats of violence. Members of Voice of the Voiceless announced that the planning reception may continue at a later date due to threats of violence to its members. The threats come after the group announced their reception on July 31st would be held at the Family Research Center. The governor of Texas will sign the bill banning late-term abortions today after weeks of contentious debate. The bill bans abortions after 20 weeks and requires abortion clinics to meet basic health and safety standards, also requires a doctor providing abortions to secure admitting privileges at a nearby hospital, and it requires a doctor to personally administer abortion-inducing drugs to the patient. A nun from New York has been traveling the streets of Arizona attempting to bring Catholics back to Mass on Sundays. Sister Marjorie Therese Harkin and some seminarians spend 30 hours a week traveling from home to home seeking out baptized Catholics who have fallen away from the church. Sister Marjorie says she doesn't pressure them, but invites them and lets God do the rest. The nun, the nun estimates she has visited over 4,000 homes since her three years in Arizona. I'm Michael Miller. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael compares doing research for a new car to researching your faith. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends, and may God bless you. Sick of TV and its cultural rot? Tune in to churchmilitant.tv and become a premium subscriber where you will get access to fresh shows with solid church doctrine. As a premium subscriber, you'll get hundreds of hours of programming, which includes investigative shows, catechesis, apologetics, church history lessons, and a lot more. What are you waiting for? Forget the bad television and dive into the riches of the Catholic faith for only $10 a month.